Next thing is uh, the concept of Jingshen. And um, Jingshen is uh, translated usually as spirit of vitality. It combines two words, Jing and Shen. And so in this, the, the, the Taiji model of spiritual cultivation, it one refines Jing, and that is one's essence, bodily essence, basically, but it's also, it refers to your, like your kidney chi and uh, your, your sense of vitality, your, your body's ability to, to feel robust and energetic. And um, it works on a, you know, on the endocrine system, it works, you know, create the uh, uh, sense of coherence without the whole system, sense of um, uh, vigor. So the, the Jing, learning to be able to unkink the hose so, the, so that the energy is flowing freely at that physical level, then frees up to cultivate the energy at the energy level. And that's where we start to become more and more attuned. So first we're feeling into our bodies and we're getting really attuned to that and getting so that we're able to feel robust and healthy. And then we start to become more and more aware of the next level of insubstantiality, which is at the level of chi. And chi is, you know, the way I think of it is energy is the connection, it's the relationship between stuff. So that is if you, you know, how one thing relates to another is, is defined by energy. So the energy that drives our body is as to do with, we are taking a wholeness that is your body mind. And we're saying, okay, we're going to kind of examine this with a really fine microscope and start to look at, at a way of thinking about the way this, these things relate, these parts relate to each other. And we, so that we can differentiate something which you can't really see. But if you're, if you attune to that level of insubstantiality, back to the Tingjin again, you start to have an awareness of different forms of energy. It's still just one big energy. And even that is like a, uh, it's, it's, it's an idea. It's, it's, a, it's a way of thinking. So we're, we're dividing it up, you know, and in the Chinese model, you have your meridians, you got your channels and, and, then you have the elements, they provide a certain energetic context for these things. So there's different ways of breaking it down so that you can get a very coherent system that can predict certain things and can remedy certain things. And so it's, it's helpful, it's useful in that way. It's not the only energy model. The you know, one that I use in uh, polarity therapy uses more of a Western model, which instead of five elements being the, uh, uh, wood, fire, earth, metal, water. It's the more the Western model from the Western esoteric tradition where you have earth, water, fire, air, and ether. So just different ways of, of breaking it down and to do different things, different, different ways of approaching your health and your ability to function in the world. So if we go from Jing to Qi, so we get in tune with our Qi, we start to identify with our Qi, we start to feel it, we start to feel the, you know, the, it as a, as, as a thing. And then we move into another level of insubstantiality, which is Shen or spirit. And that's where we, once we move into that, we're in that state of wholeness, something that we just explored with the, the superconscious state. In that state of heightened coherence where you, the nervous system is quieted and you move to that gap between thoughts, then you're 
you are, if you direct intention through that, that is where we, we see Shen. It's, it's a directed spirit. And, um, you know, the, the soul part is the abiding part. That's the, that's, that's the yin part. The yang part is, is the shen. I forget the exact name of, um, of uh, the soul part, but anyway, that's the, that's the idea. You have this, this yin yang in, in that as well. And then the, the, the model then takes it from shen into emptiness, where there's sort of just dissolving into nothingness or emptiness or an absence of stuff. And that's the, at an even deeper level of insubstantiality. So when we talk about Jing Shen, we're talking about the spirit of vitality. That is, your, there's a, a, an integration of that sense of wholeness with the physical body and its ability to function at a higher level. And with it, even though it's not expressed within those, those two terms there, there is an energy that, that can be sensed to, to the degree that you distinguish or differentiate. So the, uh, the way that is classically defined to access this Jingshen is through the Jade Pillow Gate. And I've mentioned that many, many times and I want to uh, just to reemphasize here for anybody who might be tuning in to this on YouTube, you know, the, you want to reach with the crown of your head and then feel that, that spot right here at the, at the base of the skull. The actual Jingshen, uh, the actual uh, Jade Pillow Gate is right here under the occiput. But we want to focus on that middle point there where, where the spinal cord goes into the brain, where the, the atlas, the topmost vertebra, connects up with the occiput. That, the, that hole there, it's called the, the big hole, or in Latin, the foramen magnum. It's, uh, that's uh, where the cerebral spinal fluid moves in and out. It's also, that location is where your medulla oblongata is. It's, it's a, 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 a focal point. And you can think of it too, where you know, that's where the body, the body essence connects up with the head, with, the, with your brain. And so there's this, to the degree that we can open up our jade pillow gate, we are then able to unify body and mind and allow us to access spirit. So the, um, uh, do this first as a, as a sitting uh, meditation here. And I just want you to put your, your finger right at the base of your skull there so you can feel that, that point. And so just like we were doing before, I want you to feel that spot with your finger. Now feel your finger with your jade pillow gate. Now feel your jade pillow gate with your finger. Now feel your finger with your jade pillow gate. Now move your finger and feel your jade pillow gate from the inside. Now, I want you just ever so slightly reach with the crown of your head and very lightly tuck in your chin, just so you feel the, 
the slightest initiation of an opening there. So it's like, like a very quiet nod. When you nod, it's not, your focus is not on the nodding, it's on the opening. And do it. So what I'd like you to do now is to incorporate that with your breathing so that every time you inhale, you consciously inhale, you consciously open the jade pillow gate. And relax as you exhale. Good. Let's just be there. Just with the least amount of effort you can muster, just continue to activate your jade pillow gate. So there's no muscular tension there at all. You're reaching with the crown of your head. You're not pushing your head. So it's not a question of holding it open. It's every time you bring your awareness to that action, you consciously, volitionally choose to activate your jade pillow gate. It activates the Jing Shen. <laughs> 